Hello there, my name is Dave Allen, I'm Good and Giggy, and today we're going to learn a bit about regex. This is a way that you use regular expressions to find patterns in text. I'm just going to do this live, and I'm going to take some stuff that I'm finding in Goodreads, all the books I've been reading, and I'm going to make that into a list that I can use to put into the application Obsidian, because I don't want all the gunk that goes with it, I just want the basic information. So let's get started and see what, how we do this. OK, so here we are in Brave, the browser, and I've um, selected all I want to select there, and I've uh, copied this into the clipboard. So let's do uh, Copy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to BB Edit. And this is what I want it to look like when the job is finished. So that's the finished item, and this is what it's going to look like before I get started with it. So let's do Command and V and paste that in, and you can see there's a lot of rubbish in there that I just don't need. There is this bit here where we've got um, double the um, title of the book. We've got uh, this stuff here we want to take out as well, and this bit here. So I want to get all of that out, and I want to do this by finding the patterns within the text and get it all sorted. So I don't want to sort of do this by sort of selecting this, then get down to the next one, selecting the same again, then do the next one and select on the same again. I want to do it by finding the pattern in the text, and it should work out a lot easier. And we're going to do it using this um, find thing here. So let's uh, start by selecting what we're going to get it to remove first. Okay, so I want to get, get it to get rid of this bit here, and go down as far as this bit here where it says edit. And we're going to start off by looking for the um, Backslash digit, backslash digit, no, actually not backslash digit. We want to do backslash dot, backslash digit. As you can see over here, it's starting to select the text that I'm looking for. So it's looking for anything with a digit, followed by a dot, followed by a digit. And then we want to have another digit as well. So let's get another digit. And then I wanted to get out onto the next line. So we're going to do backslash and then N, and that'll take it onto the next line. Yes, it's that time to go and hit on that subscribe button and also the bell so you don't miss out on any more of the tutorials that's coming from Good and Geeky. And then we want to get it to start looking for some words. So let's do dash W. And it started selecting the first letter or first character in the next sentence, but I wanted to go to all the way to the end. So to do that, I think I need to do a dot followed by um, plus. So that's gone to the end of that line, so that's good. Then I wanted to go down to the next line, so I'm going to do um, backslash and then N again. And then we do the backslash W to get the first letter in that next sentence. Dot plus. Okay, so that's got the end of the next sentence there. So now we want to do the next line, so backslash N, which will take us down to the next line. And then we're going to get to get rid of all this where it says edit. And I don't think. Backslash double is going to get that there. Let's uh, go to this one here. We can have to get some information on how to do these things. You can remove blank lines with this here. Um, you can do the ones that you've um, worked already. And also this one here gives you the help. So what we're going to look for next is uh, any character. So I think we could do a dot in that one there. Dot. And then the plus. And that again has gone to the end of the sentence. So that's going to get rid of all of those there, and I'm just going to tell it to do a replace all, and I think I'll get it to replace all with those, and I'm going to tell it to replace all. So you see what it's done, it's got rid of all of those things. Okay, so 20 matches, that's all that done. So this one here, I'm going to tell it to look for edit. So that's got that selected. Then we're going to do backsplash N, and then that takes it to the next line. Then I'm going to tell it to look for dot, and then plus. That gets the view and all those characters in the next line. Backslash N, go to the next line. Same again, we're going to do dot, and then followed by a plus. That gets the next line. And then we want to do the same again to get rid of the first line of the name of the book. Okay, so backsplash, backsplash, backslash, n, and then um, dot and plus. 
Okay, so you can see if we go through that there, it's going to select all of those things there and get rid of all of it, including the first line of that text there. And this time, instead of, um, uh, let's say, instead of putting that in, I'm going to do it so it puts in the opposite. So I'm going to do uh, these ones and replace all. So it's got 19 matches found, and I'm going to to do replace all. Now, it didn't do that first one there because it's on the first line there and didn't have those... Um, first parts there to uh, find in the pattern, so we'll just delete that manually. But all the rest of it is looking pretty good. Now the reason I put these ones in here, so this one here with the forward arrows and these ones here with the back arrows, is because I want to have a space in between each of these at the end of each book. Uh, but I want to have this one here uh, without a space. So this one here I'm going to remove and I'm going to have uh, uh, this selection of text connected this selection of text here, the dates. Okay, so let's just do that now. We're going to go into this one here. And we're going to remove the two forward arrows until it's replaced that with nothing. And it's got 20 matches found. Let's do replace all. Now that's good because I want to um, get rid of the empty lines next. Now this bit here, we can do empty line removal with this here, supposedly. So let's go to this here, remove blank lines, and it didn't work. Okay, so what I'm going to do there is I'm going to go into the draft application. So let's select all of this here. I found that this works better. So do um, Command and C to copy all of that and go into draft. Okay, so I'll do Command V. And in this one here, I've got a thing here which removed bank lines. So remove blank lines, double click on that there. That's removed all the blank lines for me. So now I'm going to do a um, uh, command and copy of command A and then command copy. And now I'm going to do command V. So paste that in there. So all the blank lines have gone. And now what I've got is I've got this one here which needs to be removed. So let's go into this one here, and this case here, I'm going to do the uh, two back, back arrows, and I don't want to put put anything in there. I just want to remove it. So let's do replace all. So now what I've got here is I've got this here which is a book, this here which is a book, and this here is a book. Okay, so that's all the way down there for 20 books, and I've just noticed there's something else that needs to be removed. So let's go into this one here, and I want to remove all the space followed by a star. Can't do a star by itself there, so I have to do a backslash and then a uh, star. And that's going to remove all those ones there. For some reason or other, it's put a uh, star at the end of those ones there, so I'm going to take to replace all of those. Okay, so that's looking good. Uh, backsplash, or backslash. Uh, open square bracket, followed by edit, followed by close square bracket. Okay, so that's all the square brackets selected there, and I'm going to tell it to replace all. Cool, we're starting to get there now. It's uh, looking pretty good. Okay, so next thing to do is to do sort this out here with the tags in. I'll put some tags in there. And for this, I use Keyboard Maestro. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start here. What I want to do is I want to put in the tag that I want in there. Then I want it to come down a line. And then I'm going to do command and right arrow to make sure it goes to the end of the line. And then I'm going to put in the code that I want next. And then when it's done that, I'm going to do down arrow twice, three times, four times. Then do command end, and then I'm going to get it to start the process again. And that part of it I'll do manually because it's just easier to do it that way. Okay, so let's go into this one here and start a new keyboard macro. And we'll just call this um, add tags. Okay, so I'm going to put in a new action here to start with. And i um, looking for keyboard type, I think is what I'm looking there. So type a keystroke. Let's uh, grab that and drag that in there. And the keystroke that I want to put in there first of all is, so let's get this here, drag this in here and put this in first. So the text that is going to be put in there is going to be a hashtag. Hashtag. No, in fact, I'm going to put a space in there first. Then a hashtag. Okay, so what I've got here, I've got uh, hashtag books 
forward slash and then titles. That's what I'm looking for. So let's go back into this here. So we're going to type in here books forward slash title. And then it's going to do a down arrow. And then I'm going to get it to do another type of keystroke. Let's uh, drag this in here. And for this here, I want to do a command and right arrow. So it goes to the end of the line, just in case I've gone down one there and we're not at the end of the line, just in case. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to do this here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do a duplicate of this one here. Let's duplicate that there. And then I'm going to drag this and drag it to the bottom. And I'll change this here to author. OK, so that's books author. And then we need to do some of these ones here. So I'm going to uh, do a duplicate of this one here. And bring that down to the bottom. Let's do four of those. So I've got one in there already. So I'm going to do, um, do command D. That's two, three and four. And then I need another one of these ones here. So command and right arrow. So I'll just um, do a duplicate of this here. Okay, command and D. And then drag this and drop it down at the bottom there. OK, so let's do a test of this here. In fact, we need to have a trigger first of all, so we can make this work. So the trigger is going to be a type string trigger. And the type string is going to be... OK, so you can see that worked. What it did, it's uh, put in this here for me, which is good. That's what I wanted. Then it did a line down and then put that in there. Then it did one, two, um, three, four lines down. Then it did a command and I went to the end of there. And then to do the rest of these, I've just got to do that there manually, mm, manually, mm. And this is a nice, quick and easy way. Obviously, if you've got thousands in this here, then you might need to do it a little bit different. And as you see, I've run into a little bit of a problem with this one here. Let's do some commands and Zs to go back there. And we'll see why that didn't work. OK, so I can do uh, mm here. So mm here. It's put that in there, but on this one here, I've actually got three dates in there, which is why we had a bit of a problem. OK, so instead of uh, going, instead of landing on this one here, it landed on this one here. So that was made it go incorrect. So let's just get rid of that one here, for instance. And then I can go back to this here and I can start again with the MM. So it's not too difficult to do this and uh, I'm saving myself a lot of time here. And then I'd go down to the end of all of this here and I'd have the job done. So there you go. This is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky and you've learned how to do some regex. You learned how to use keyboard macros in Keyboard Maestro and to do things quickly that if you had to do manually, it would take you forever. So get the computer to do the work for you in a good and geeky way. Bye bye now.